Couldn't ask for a better day. Big 12 softball on ESPN. Welcome to the softball capital of the world and the Big 12 tournament. Day one, game one, Houston and Kansas. An amazing look at the city of Oklahoma City. Back. Struck her out. Hamilton excited and sore the Jayhawk fans. Rollin skies it to center field. Coming over is Price, who squeezes it. Coleman lays down a bunt. Anderson, too late. Yeah, that was a great conversation. We had a chance to talk with Coach Vesley yesterday, as you had mentioned. And coming from the American, good look at Cantu from League City, Texas. Off and running is Coleman. Wow, Moore was delayed on the skip and still almost got her. Moore has a can. Pitch skipped into her mitt and still was in the game. 3-2 pitch coming. Strike three. 99 strikeouts on the season for Casey Hamilton. Two in the top of the first. Holding those hands back. Limbaugh right back up the middle. Nice glove work by Smith. What up on that? On her, one of the great athletes that Coach Vesley's team has. Lined right into the glove of Lorenzo. Cricket bat for Lindoff. We look at Haley Cripe. Moore off and running. Slides safely to second base. Postseason baseball from Oklahoma City. Slapped into right center field. Off the wall, gone. Just got over the wall. I thought it had a chance to stay in the yard. It did not. A two-run shot for Haley Cripe. And Cripe, what a battle that was. And just a good job of just seeing a lot of pitches, letting the ball travel, looking middle out, keeping your hands inside, staying in your legs. If you just take a look at her swing, you can see this ball traveling, letting it get deep. She keeps those hands inside, doesn't do too much. And again, it was effortless power. It didn't look like it was out right off the bat. I thought it maybe would stay in, but just a beautiful at bat. Coming up on her 25th pitch. Blooper, and it drops. Another runner aboard. Ripped down the line, ran out for it as well and can't get it. Runners now at first and second. Really? Popped up, shouldn't be a problem. Lorenzo puts it away, but the damage is done. Two to nothing at Kansas. We really appreciated the conversation with her and I loved her calmness, just her approach and just, you know, obviously yes, the Cougars have faced a lot of adversity this season, but her even killness and just the positivity that she had of still being able to instill some greatness in her team. So Thomas is... Yeah, she told us they put together a top 25 team. Aguilar waits on it. Hamilton whips it down to second base and Kripe can't get it over in time to Bagshaw. Hamilton whips it opposite field for Smith. Trying to help her own cause. Here comes Aguilar to third. She's standing up. Runners now at the corners. Cougars in business. Repa skies it. Coming over to make the play in foul territory is Linduff. Tagging to score is Aguilar, but out at second base. Home plate umpire says the run does score. 
So Jayhawks out of the inning, but not before a crucial run comes across for the Cougars. Slaps it in the right field. Diving is Wilkins. Ball goes to the wall. Coming around second in the third. Sliding head first. Anderson with the triple to start off the second inning. For her, can lead to two bases. Skies it into center field. Thomas puts it away. But tagging up and sliding across the plate is Anderson. Three to one, Jayhawks. Limbaugh grounded back to the pitcher. Coming on to try to grab that one. Another Cougar lays out and just can't get it. That time it was Thomas. And the hit parade continues for the Jayhawks in the bottom of the second. <laughs> Beats it right down the line. Cantu is there. And the fielder's choice is made when Lorenzo steps on the bat. Season, 88% of leadoff blocks that they had were scoring runs. That one has eyes. More on base once again. Hitting 333 with runners in scoring position. Chopper. We get to see Smith's glove work again. And the Cougars out of a jam. One run comes across. Beckons being so important before the pitch takes place. Right, well as a hitter, you're trying to control the tempo, you're trying to control your mindset, your brain. Yes! And so when the pitcher's working fast, it disrupts that. And here for them with injuries to the pitching staff and coming over from the America, but they continue to fight. Two-two pitch coming to Boutte. Yes! Fourth strike out of the afternoon for him. Hamilton really didn't give her anything to hit. So Rollin is aboard. Box, you think, well, hitting is not a problem for them. Chopper coming over to make the play as Cribe feels it cleanly. She has that golden glove this season in shortstop at home. It means a lot. I mean, just being able to you know, play your four years there and play at home, uh, just being close to home, that was super important to me, picking a college where I can be in front of my family and be in front of my friends. High softball IQ and just loves to learn and loves to be around the game. Some strength to go with that IQ as she built herself up in the offseason, but grounds out to Lorenzo. Oklahoma City. Hits that right on the screws. But another nice play is made by Lorenzo, who comes it over to Cantu. And the first scoreless inning for the Cougars has just taken place. Top of the fourth. Issues a walk. Just her second of the day. Facing some tough competition, some elite hitters, great pitching. Opportunity for a double play. Jayhawks turn it. Couldn't have come at a better time. Takes the air out of the Houston. Another strikeout for Hamilton, fifth of the day. Hamilton, I mean, just the Cougars getting behind and not getting ahead in counts. Popped up. Circle. Coming over to make the play is Bagshaw. And the Cougars had hoped for a big inning. For us. Beaten to shortstop. Lorenzo in the hole. That kind, she couldn't pull a rabbit out of her hat. Has shown great range all afternoon long. 
showing some stellar work there is Coleman. And that's why she is second team all Big 12. Limbaugh. Laying out for that one is Lorenzo. Couldn't get it, and the slapper succeeds. Linduff drops it into center field. And the bases are juiced. We've talked all. 1 0 pitch. Knocks it right down to third base, but Rollin gets the force at home plate. And the lead stays at 3 with a hot corner for nothing. Lofted into center field. Going back is Thomas. It goes to the wall. Kripe delivers again. Everybody scores. Five RBIs on the day for Kripe. She's got a home run and a bases clearing double. And a huge smile. What a moment for Kripe. I mean, just incredible hitting here. And if you can just see her hands just so effortless to the ball as she gets her bat head to get that ball out in front, taking this ball deep center. And again, the ball, if you were here, you can see it was almost lifting. It didn't seem like it was going to get out again. Or it seemed like it was going to get out, but uh, it was rising at that last minute. Incredible. We talked to Coach McFalls earlier today. She said earlier in the morning, she saw Kripe. Wow, <laughs> another great play by Iran. We'll come back with the rest of the story. But the comeback now. Thanks to this young lady in the circle, Hamilton has been rolling, the lefty spins it. No problem for Kripe. Kripe, have a day. You love to see it. Here is Paige Holsey. Right down the line, bobbled by Bagshaw. Regathers, steps on the bag. Two down. Boutte. That one almost had eyes. Field cleanly by Rozak, who guns her down. Lead is still five, three up, three down for Hamilton. Bagshaw rips it right down the line. Rowland snares it. She's been exceptional down at the hot corner. Yeah, and this ball is... <laughs> Lifts it into right field. Holsey battles with the sun. 1-1 one, one pitch coming. Ashlyn Anderson. There's Rollin again. Pats the glove and puts it away. Clean inning. First, they would love to take it into the postseason. Rollin rips it into right field. Hard hits. Put them together. Off and running because of what was almost a wild pitch. So that is, was exactly what you were talking about. Obviously, an opportunity arose there, and Roland took advantage. 0-2 count. Coleman ropes it to second base. Rozak can't find the handle. Everybody's safe. Roland at third. Coleman down at first base. Cantu. Pumps it into right field, coming over to make the play. And a nice one is Linda. But coming home to score on the sacrifice fly is Rowan. RBI for Cantu. Houston staying alive. I'm going to go and say Big 12 this year in this 2024 season. So many great players and so many great teams. Off and running was Coleman, and she is gunned down. 12th stolen base that Lyric Moore has stopped from happening this season. Uh, not to run into outs. 2-2 Two -two pitch to Kennedy. Thomas, another strikeout for Hamilton. Six of the afternoon. 
We head to the bottom of the six. Kansas is up six to two. Trying to punch a ticket to the second round. 2-2 pitch coming from Smith. Rope back up the middle. Another base runner for the Jayhawks. Nobody out in the bottom of the six. Them ball two for three today. Some more UTM hitting and an amazing play made by Lorenzo. Gloves it. Base umpire, Leah Dom. Make and I think what made her hesitate was the bobble that she didn't think that there was going to be a play there. Linduff moves the runners. One down. Second and third. More to Lorenzo. Looks the runner back to third. Cantu! Double play! Exceptional play by the Cougars. Get Smith and company out of a jam. Are the Jayhawks. And we'll have an opportunity to really improve upon that again if they can hold on to this one and take on Oklahoma tomorrow. Rose on the Hoover. Over to Bagshaw. In the first game of the Big 12 tournament, Houston clinging to life. Base hit right back up the middle from Repa. Runners at first and second. Two two pitch. Holsey. Flair back up the middle. Full house for the Cougars. One swing away from one one pitch coming from Hamilton. Shot back up the middle. Getting the glove on it is right, but a run comes around to score. A two-run score. Houston won't go away. Battling to the end. That has got to feel so good. And such a big break for Houston and Lair Butte. I mean, just fist this ball that is off the plate and fist it right back up the middle. Picking up two RBIs. And it looks as though we will not see Hamilton's 19th complete game of the season. As a late rally. As the plate. Rollin would love it to be her, right? Takes ball four. Bases are juiced. Coleman. With the fielder's choice, a run does score. And the lead is shaped one run. Two outs, top of the seventh, runners on first. And Dribbles it down to third base. Anderson loses the handle. Thomas lifts it to shortstop, coming over to make the play and finish the game is who else? Haley Cripe. Makes perfect sense, right? A career high five RBIs and squeezes the last out for the Jayhawks to advance. What a game. What a game. I mean, I'm, I'm up here sweating, Pete. And, you know, just what an incredible performance by both teams. But the Jayhawks today, just all around hitting Cripe. What a day, <laughs> defensively on both sides of the plate and, you know, coming up with that big home run in the first inning and going two for three on the day. As someone who's seen a whole lot of softball, as someone who's played a whole lot of softball, what did you learn about Kansas today? 